Yo, what is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to remove the 300 ZX's alternator ZX's and power steering from your, you guessed it, 300 ZX. Stay tuned, let's get it. All right guys, so what you're gonna wanna go ahead and do is, um, I, you already see I got the belt off. Right, there's no belt connecting power steering to the crank, to the motor over here, to the engine. Um, so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and loosen this bottom bow. You can tell it's loose right there. Um, you'll have enough release to go ahead and get that belt loose. Um, the belt is right here. And the belt honestly doesn't look bad. Huh. Okay. So the belt doesn't look bad. Now what you're going to want to do in this, so, so this is something you may want to do in advance is this is a 3-4 so you can go ahead and take this bolt off here and what you could do is you can take a screwdriver put it through here and hold it in place and go ahead and pop this bolt off this will allow you to remove this pulley ahead of time because here's the thing if you remove the power steering pump without removing that pulley you may find out later that you have to remove that pulley and it's a lot harder. You may need like a vise or something like that to remove. So um, just a heads up, I go ahead and take it off. I mean, you're already going to take the whole thing off. So that, that'll give you, um, that'll uh, make it easier for you to remove that pulley. Um, you can see right here, I loosened this bolt right here. This is a 24 millimeter. Um, I loosened that with the wrench. You're going to want to be careful with this portion right here. Let me try to get a close zoom in shot. Right there. Okay, so you can tell. So it has a washer above right here. And then it has a washer underneath right there. So when you remove this, you want to be careful that this washer doesn't get lost or fall or somewhere. Um, you know, you want to make sure you take account of that whenever you do remove this bolt right here. Again, 24 millimeter. Um, next step is you're going to want to remove these. This is a 12 millimeter nut. And then, um, you can tell it was already pretty loose. And then up here, these are 12 millimeter bolts. They will have a washer and a locking washer on them. And, um, Make sure you get a clear shot of that. And then you're also going to remove this one bolt right here. And I'll go ahead and get that done and then I'll bring you back to the next step. Twenty four millimeter. There's the banjo bolt with the washer. All right, so we're gonna wanna go ahead and drain the power steering uh, reservoir right here. We'll keep that closed for now. I'm gonna go ahead and loosen up this bottom one right here. You can't really see it. Matter of fact, I'm gonna just loosen up all of them. steering um, the way the power the power steering pump is going to come out is we're going to pull that out along with the hose so I didn't want it to drain all over the car or all over the place um, there wasn't that much power steering in the power tank reservoir and whatever was in there it looks good um, the color isn't all dirty or nothing so um, looks good I don't know the last time it's been flushed or anything like that um, but overall you can tell I didn't really get a whole lot or really any, I think that's just um, this cleaning detergent here that I have. Yeah, just very little. 
there's not a whole lot of mess as you can tell so um that looks good it reassures me that a whole whole bunch of it is not going to fall out hopefully when i pull that power steering pump out so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to go ahead and disconnect this hose right here you can see that bolt right there um and then i'm going to disconnect another bolt on this side and we're going to pull that power steering pump out the only thing that's holding that in right now is that line for the power steering so let's go ahead and get that done all right guys i wanted to show you which uh bolt i was going to go ahead and hit you see that bolt right there i'm gonna go ahead and loosen that one up that follows this line to the power steering you can tell here let me try to flatten this thing up a little bit okay that line goes to the power steering pump which is right there and then it's also held right there you can see that other line that's also connected to the power steering um if we follow that up that'll take us to our hika system which is right here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and remove both of those because i cannot figure out how to disconnect this power steering but i figured once we disconnect both those things i could reverse engineer it and let you guys know what the proper way would be to remove this thing so let me go ahead and get those two loose and i'll pull this up okay so when removing the um the hikus bolt right here it's another banjo bolt so you're gonna have a, a o-ring not an o-ring a washer a washer on this side and a washer on this side so you want to be, be careful want to be careful whenever you move it right there our o-ring a banjo bolt and another o-ring All right, because this bottom one is a high pressure hose, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try to remove these bolts to get the power steering lifted a little bit so I could pull that hose down. Got a screwdriver, and we gotta ratchet. And there it is right there. Locking washer and washer. Okay, now we could lift this up. All right, once we remove the power steering pump reservoir, you want to readjust the Hikus hose as well as the other hose to make sure we're able to pull out the power steering pump. Here it is, you can tell it's all caked up. All right, guys, so you can tell the amount of room that we have after we remove the power steering as well as the power steering reservoir. Um, it gives us a lot of room to work when it comes to getting to the alternator. Um, there are two clips in the back or one clip in the back and then two bolts in the back that you're going to have to remove in order to get the alternator off. I don't know how you'd be able to get to these without removing the power steering pump. I'm sure there's a way I just haven't figured it out yet. So um, let's go ahead and get to removing this alternator. All right, guys, so after you went ahead and loosened that bottom bolt down there, um, the tensioner for the alternator, um, you can tell the belt is pretty loose. It's just not loose enough to come off all the way yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and remove this part right here. I think this is part of the clutch fan, not sure. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take their 10 millimeter bolts. I'm going to take a 10 millimeter wrench and a 10 millimeter closed end wrench. And I'm just going to hold one while I um, remove the other. All right, for that last part, um, because there was no more bolts, I did put a screwdriver 
like this. Put it like that. And I was I was really careful to make sure you know I didn't break that bolt. And then I was able to go ahead and unbolt the other end just to break it loose. Alright, so we'll go ahead and remove this off. Let me pop this pulley off. See how I walked it off, the old walk it off technique. That's our pulley. I don't know what this orange stuff is. You can tell our belt is loose, it's off. Um, that's our air conditioning. I'm gonna leave that one on for now because we're not taking that off today. Uh, I'm not going to swap this belt off. I'm actually pulling the engine, so I'm not too worried about it. I just wanted to get that belt off. I'm going to go ahead and pull the alternator. And um, we'll wrap this thing up. Due to the amount of cake and slime buildup, I actually had to break the alternator loose from that cake and slime. So I'm using the breaker bar and um, a rubber mallet and I'm slightly tenderizing the alternator that way it could come loose. Alright guys now that I have the clutch fan pulley taken out I'm gonna go ahead and get to this bolts right here this is a 12 millimeter. This is holding up the bracket um, that's holding on the alternator into the engine right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbolt that and we'll get to the next step. All right guys, you see this bolt right here? Go ahead and remove that. Now you can see that the alternator is fairly loose. All right guys, back to the alternator. So um, this plug right here, it is a press plug because it's so caked on. It took me um, two hands to go ahead and get this removed. Let me get out the light so you can see. And then um, there's a 10 millimeter bolt in the back of it. Let me get this out of the way. There's a 10 millimeter right there. And there's a smaller bolt right here. I believe this is an 8. Um, you're going to have to remove both of those. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get that done real quick. Alright guys, so I went ahead, yeah this was 8mm, I know I said I thought last round, but I had to check, last round, last um, second. Um, this one's a, I think I said this one's a 10, it is, um, and now the alternator is loose, so let's go ahead and grab this thing. Flip it down, dirty alternator. Now that's all the engine space now after we remove the power steering as well as the alternator. Um, that clip is down there, that push clip. And that's pretty much it. So if you're wanting to install these parts, it's going to be the reverse order of everything, of course. Um, so I'm not going to show that just because I'm not actually reinstalling these parts and getting this engine ready to pull. If you guys are interested in that, definitely subscribe, check me out. 
All right, guys, so that's all I have today regarding the alternator as well as the power steering. We were able to go ahead and get that done, no problem. This is something they'll charge you a lot to do, and they'll give you even a bigger excuse because it's in a 300ZX and there's really no room. You see how complicated and how tight everything was? Again, it's not too complicated. It's just, you know, you, have, you need additional time to do, this, the, do these things. Can't even speak. And this is why shops will go ahead and charge you a little bit more for those things as well. You know, you mentioned you got a 300ZX, they'll say, oh, they don't want to work on it, or they're going to charge you a premium for it, right? So, um, again, easy job, super easy to do. Um, again, alternator is going to be 100 bucks brand new or refurbished, um, as well as a power steering pump. So 100 bucks and doing your own labor on it obviously works out. It saves you a lot of money in the long run. I can guarantee for a power steering pump, $300 minimum just to replace it if you take it to a shop. You know, and you don't get your hands dirty, so what fun is that? But anyway, um, that's all I have. If you found this useful at all in any way, shape, or form, again, I'm not an expert. I don't claim to be. You guys know, I, you know, I, I really don't know what the hell I'm doing at times, um, but I figure it out. And that's all the car is, just figuring everything out bit by bit, bit bolt by bolt. So I'll go ahead and check you guys out. If you guys have a project car you're starting on and, you know, um, I mean, leave a comment and I'll go ahead and uh, check it out as well. Maybe go ahead and give a couple of likes and the subscribes. So again, check me out. See you guys later. Take care.